I have a question regarding the morning talk that we had. Yes, your uh, name? Aditya. Aditya. Yeah. Uh, so morning we had a talk that I am an IT professional into project management as well as I am a spiritual leader. Uh, means uh, I can give Reiki to the people. So at that time you focused on that you are walking on the three different paths. Mm. So according to the talk that you had about the clarity, so it uh, lets me uh, think that you should walk on a single path with determination. Oh, you could become a spiritual Reiki consultant to the IT industry. Okay, okay. Means combination of the fields into could. the uh, it wouldn't That wouldn't make sense because they'll ask you why the IT industry. Uh, what's Reiki and IT, IT got to each other? Uh -huh. But my point is, I mean, the, for example, I used to go to every personal development program in the world. If it was there, I would be there. Which is stupid. Because I'm getting all this knowledge but I'm not using it. So I would say to you, pick something. What do you love most? IT? Reiki? Or what was the third thing you were doing? Uh, I was uh, e dealing with a startup. Yeah, I so which is the, out of the three, which one do you love most? I love dealing with people. As in uh, having a talk. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, what do you like? Do you like day or night? I like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one do you like best out of these three? I like a Reiki. I like uh, Reiki and uh, spiritual path. Okay, spiritual path. So, where should he start focusing his energies? Does that mean he should quit his job right now? No, that'd be stupid. Unless you have a very rich family and then you can sustain yourself, then you should quit. Don't waste your time working in a job that's going to do you nothing. How many people in this room are in a job? How many people that are in a job love their job? Wow, that's amazing. How do you do that? <laughs> you know, because I don't get it. I don't get it. If someone came up to me every day and slapped you across the face, for example, as a metaphor, I would not go back there the next day and get slapped. I wouldn't. Why do you do it? If you're in a... Don't... Okay, so I'll give you an example. Do you... Go to work in the morning, you jump, do you, do you do this? Do you lie in your bed, you jump out of bed, run to the bathroom, I just can't wait to go to work today. No, but uh, like uh, part of it, the training part of it that, we, uh, that I do deliver to my uh, students, that I love. So that drives me. But it's also an excuse for you not to take risk. <laughs> Arfin, thank you so much. After one year, you're saying this. But it's true, right? <laughs> I've been telling you to quit your job for a year. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> but people in the job, nothing wrong with a job, by the way. I have nothing against people in the job. Uh, if you love your job, yeah. great. I used to work in the bingo. You know what bingo is? Housey. I used to call the numbers out. All the threes, 33. <laughs> Four and five, 45. I used to do that on the weekends. And I loved it. I used to have this big black bow tie on with this baggy red shirt. I used to sit behind the counter and I used to give the numbers out. And I, used to, I couldn't wait till the weekend I can go and do housey. Now, it's not a great job, but I loved it. So if you love your job, cool. So you, <laughs> Don't have that motivation, that part, but we have some motivation to be there. Yeah, but then everyone has some motivation. Who cares about some? And either you're going to do really good or you're going to do really bad. Because motivation is like, you know, someone says to me, you know what? I, can, I survive, man. I survive. So? Everyone survives. I go to the street. I, uh, I have my beggar friends in Andheri on the traffic light. They're my friends. I've been talking to them for years. And when I go there, I have a conversation with them. They're surviving really well. And in most cases, far better than some people that are living in beautiful houses. They're, they're always happy. They're surviving. I said, how do you do this? They go, we love, we love this. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm saying, in my opinion, if you're in a job and you hate it, you should leave immediately. If you don't like your boss, this doesn't apply to peak performance, by the way. <laughs> you don't want to work with me, trust me. Yeah. Uh. Hi, my name is Priya. Hi, Priya. I just want to share, like I was uh, doing a job for almost 10 years. I was a marketing manager with Novartis, which is one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. And believe me, every day I hated going there. It for was 10 years you did it. 10 years. And I, every time I had this vision, this dream mm -hmm. of doing my own business. 
but i never had the guts to leave job a nice comfortable well paid corporate job and getting into business and then finally 3 years ago i took that step of leaving my job and starting my own business i run my own wellness company by name of priya's wellness so we do all kind of fitness and wellness activities and now i am i can tell you the difference doing a job and doing something of my own it is drastic i even though this is more challenging than a job but i enjoy every moment of it i really look forward does she even mean I, what does she mean what she says yes i really oh, mean yeah, that right. <laughs> and uh, and if you don't agree with her she'll make sure she lets you know that she means what she says yes and uh, i would i would like to add that even when i am like i'm i'm not well i'm suffering from some pain still i go to my job i mean i still i go to my business workplace i have taken it's the drive is so strong the passion is so strong yeah and uh, i have a lot of one to one It's clients so i counsel a lot of clients give her a big round of applause and uh, i i have like a long list of clients because they love my passion my dedication and they are on waiting list and i don't have time to give them so i'm i'm i can tell you that i'm so happy with my decision of doing my own stuff my own business that i am like i'm not regretting anything in fact i would advise all of you to follow your passion You will, you will really win one day. I can Check tell you. Check it out. I mean, think about it, right? I mean, does she have a burning desire? Yes. Hell yeah, she has. Sure. Uh, hi, my name is Mukesh. Hi, Mukesh. Uh, I used to play table tennis way back when I was in college, and I even played at state level also. Oh wow! I haven't played table tennis in so many years. Almost, I think, fifteen years, fifteen plus years. And uh, I, cup like last month, I was. Uh, in goa and uh, i was not well and uh, i was there like you know declared like i have a diabetes and that moment of life i was sleeping and uh, it was such a painful you know and when i came back i decided you know i want to live my life and uh, actually you know you won't believe uh, mm. i started playing table tennis yeah now i'm going for ranking for next year and uh, i have decided to go for international tournaments wow. in couple of years <clears throat> the best thing is uh, i'm going to innovate this uh, game completely because i know the techniques and the science behind this game it's this is called the chess you know chess of your physical like sure it's a mental game actually mm. so i'm going to start my club which is going to be not for profit but it's something to take the game at next level wow. so it's like if you follow your passion i mean same thing i did with like you better you better thank your diabetes for all this <laughs> it's true right and you won't believe i haven't done like you know whenever i join gym i haven't done more than 2 days 3 days and this time this today is like almost 12th day now before coming to seminar i did yesterday for today's wow. work is he a man on a mission yes does he have enthusiasm yes. so we know character wise he's up there do you agree with that we don't know the skill set yet but that's cool it doesn't matter does it that's why they say mountain get out of my way <laughs> 